I recently covered the many stations of Bo, but there was one that I rather skipped over. Probably the best known one, certainly the oldest one still in use, Bo Road. Bo Road is a station on the District and Hammersmith and City lines. It opened in 1902. It's one I rather like for its architecture, which is unlike anything else on the District line. Well, apart from Stepney Green, I suppose. This distinctive architecture is a little clue as to the station's history. Let's put on our deer stalkers, light our calabash pipes and flee from the Sherlock Holmes Society as we delve into the story of Bow Road. What the architecture clues us in on is that this station wasn't built for the district line. Well, it was and it wasn't. It was built by a company called the Whitechapel and Bow Railway. I talk a lot about conflicts between railway companies on this channel, so it's a refreshing change sometimes to note that this railway was built in the spirit of collaboration. So you had the Metropolitan District Railway, which is now more or less the district line. The district were a rather poor company, and their policy was to extend their services wherever possible. They were particular fans of negotiating the rights to use other companies' lines, which was much cheaper than building their own lines, and didn't run so much risk of competition. In East London, their trains only ran as far as Whitechapel, and were half empty. Then you had the London, Tilbury and South End Railway, which did exactly what it said on the ticket. They had a main line that served some mighty important destinations, including, yes, London, Tilbury and South End, but their line into London only went as far as Fenchurch Street. This was a station they had to share. Basically, it seems that at one time or another, just about everyone wound up using Fenchurch Street, and the station was getting pretty congested. If the Tilbury line wanted to grow, and they did, they'd need more capacity, preferably further into the city. So both companies had something the other wanted. The district had a line running right through London, and the Tilbury had a line serving the eastern suburbs of London, prime commuter territory. Us rail enthusiasts refer to the London, Tilbury and South End as the Tilbury line because we're cool like that. Anyway, in 1896, the district approached the Tilbury and asked about the possibility of striking a deal to build an extension from the district railway station at Whitechapel to the Tilbury line near Bromley. I should at this point state that this wasn't the district's idea. Actually, a very similar scheme had first been suggested back in 1883 by the Metropolitan Railway. The trouble was that the Metropolitan and District Railways were deadly rivals, and the District refused to let the Metropolitan use their track, which of course they would have to do. There was also the business argument that the District didn't want the Met getting all those sweet eastern suburb commuter fares before they could. So that was the end of that. But now the Metropolitan weren't involved, the District were very keen on the idea. In 1897, the theoretically independent Whitechapel and Bow Railway was formed. Then in 1898, the district and the Tilbury officially took the company over because building railways is complicated. And in 1902, the line was complete. Bow Road was the last station before the junction with the Tilbury line. Consequently, it's followed by a climb to meet the main line, which at 1 in 28 is the steepest on the underground. You might also notice that the platforms are unusually long. That is a relic of the joint venture, when the station had to be long enough to accommodate main line trains. While the new line solved some problems, it caused others. Remember I mentioned congestion at Fenchurch Street? Well, the district running onto the Tilbury lines caused more congestion there, that wasn't resolved until the line was quadrupled over the next few years. From 1910 to 1939, the district took advantage of the connection to run a line to South End. And in fact, I did another video about that, which should be popping up in the corner about now. Bow Road was an immediate success as a commuter station, offering the people of Bow a means to get into London fast. Until that point, they had to use the Great Eastern Railway's line to Fenchurch Street, which was much slower. Which all goes to show that building a connection with the district was a very smart move on the Tilbury Line's part. Both the Tilbury and District Railways would undergo a number of changes of ownership over the years, and as a result, Bow Station found itself jointly owned by several different companies. 
the District Railway, the London, Tilbury and South End, the Midland Railway, Underground Electric Railways of London, the London, Midland and Scottish Railway, the London Passenger Transport Board and British Railways. None of these are particularly important for the purposes of this video, but one I should make note of is the one that took place in 1933 when the London Passenger Transport Board took control of all the underground lines. This enabled a certain amount of reorganisation to make the system a little bit more efficient and a little bit less chaotic. One of the changes they made was to extend some of the services on the Metropolitan Line to take a little pressure off the district. So they extended the Hammersmith service from Aldgate to Barking in 1936. Which meant that, after all that, the Metropolitan did wind up using the district track to get onto the Tilbury Line after all. In 1948, both the railways and London Transport were nationalised, and in 1950 the line was officially handed over to the Underground outright, ending nearly 50 years of joint ownership. In 1945, the nearby Bow Station officially closed, and in 1949, so too did the old Great Eastern Station at Bow Road, leaving the district as the only game in town. This would change in 1987, when the Docklands Light Railway Station at Bow Church opened. This was originally to be called Bow Road. For ticketing purposes, Bow Road and Bow Church are considered the same station and have out-of-station interchange, so there's a useful tip for you. In 1990, the Hammersmith and City Line became an independent line on the map, running the full length of the extended service from Hammersmith to Barking. And that's how Bow Road wound up on the district and the Hammersmith and City lines. The station is now Grade 2 listed for its distinctive architecture, which we now know looks so unusual because it was only half intended as an underground station. Good evening all! I hope you enjoyed this jointly owned tale from the tube. I know I said in the last video that this was going to be just about Bow Road, but I feel like you can't talk about the station without talking about the line it's on. Or at least, I can't. I just like the Whitechapel and Bow Railway, you know what I mean? Anyway, thanks once again to my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon. You are the London, Tilbury and South End to my district railway. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio.